Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitting Performance Lab. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why I teach hitters to show their numbers to the pitcher, and maybe you should too. Showing numbers to the pitcher is a quick way to solving consistent power problem. Now this is take three of two other experiments I did that looked at showing the numbers in the last couple of years or so. And the question that I raised in this experiment, the swing experiment, was how does showing the numbers to the pitcher affect bat speed at impact versus not showing them? Here's an image before and after of Aaron Judge this last year on October 17th, 2017. In this experiment, we used the Zep Labs baseball app to gather data and to use the scientific method to analyze if a hitter showing their numbers to the pitcher at landing adds to or takes away from key swing performance metrics like bat speed at impact, time to impact, and attack angle. Again, this experiment is revisiting two other experiments done analyzing the same thing. And in this post, if you click the link that's directly below this video, if you're watching this on YouTube in the about section, you can read up more on the background research and what those other two experiments had found. The first one was done October 17, 2014, and the latest one before this was to December 9th, 2016. So you can go there and you can read just the cliff notes on how those experiments turned out. But for this, we're going to move to the hypothesis, which based on the above research, and there are some books here too in the background research and some background post that I did that kind of takes the books, book information and applies it to baseball and hitting or softball and hitting. But on the hypothesis, based on the above research, I'm expecting to see a dramatic bump in bat speed at impact, hand speed max, and possibly a reduction in time to impact. I think attack angle, which is the angle the barrel's coming up to the ball or down to the ball, the incoming ball, and bat vertical angle at impact will, will remain unchanged. Now in the experiment, I didn't hit on in a cage like I did the previous previous experiments on showing numbers. I used a, a swing away. Here you can see the balls is suspended by cables. Besides the Zep app, we use this. We used my Android phone to record the video and then a 33 inch bamboo bat. Some of the setup, important on the setup, again, you can read this by going to the link under this video, but one of the important points I wanted to go over is right here. The two tests in the swing experiment were counterbalanced, which consisted of eight blocks of 25 swings done in the following order. A, B, B, A, B, A, A, B. Basically showing numbers was letter A and not showing numbers was letter B. So I took 200 total swings, so 100 each showing numbers versus not showing numbers were completed in the experiment. Again, 100 per test. Counterbalancing or helps to remove the getting tired and warm up factors. So here's take three of the showing numbers experiment. Here are the swings off the swing away. And as you can see over here on the left, this is the showing numbers. This is the not showing numbers, although you see me still showing my numbers. We wanted to do one thing to be able to control whether I was showing or not showing, at least doing a more consistent job, and that's getting to the landing position, pausing for a second or two, and then going into the swing instead of putting the swing together. But as you can see here, you got left showing, right not showing, at landing, and then from this swing, you can see actually I almost get to back to showing again, could be the reason why bat speed wasn't showing as big of a difference. But you can see here, showing versus not showing. This is how we did that experiment. Now let's look at some hitters who do show their numbers to prove that this is what the best are doing. All right, to address the objections usually that I get for this, I'm gonna show you a couple hitters, a few hitters. The first two are gonna be the big daddies, the big guys, the six, 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 seven hitters. Got Aaron Judge on the left and you have John Carlos Stanton on the right, both in 2017. And we're gonna watch how they show their numbers. Then I'm gonna show you a couple medium-sized hitter, hitters. I consider between six, one and up and a smaller than six, five, six, six. Then I'm gonna show you some, a couple smaller hitters and a pretty good hitter. I'll end it with a pretty good hitter which will keep you in mystery on that. So here is Aaron Judge. You can see from the start of the swing, you can see, you can kind of make, you can make out the first nine, but you can't really see the other 99 if you didn't know he was number 99. We're going to get to showing numbers at landing. Again, this is a protraction of the front scapula. You're gonna see this scap coming forward, this, this shoulder coming forward, scapula protracting. You're gonna see this scapula retracting. And we see that, that big elbow sticking out. So this is at landing. We wanna make sure we're showing numbers to landing. 
You got Giancarlo Stanton, which went to who went to the close stance at the middle of this year from like June 18th on. And he's already somewhat in that position. You can see he can make out almost the 2-7 totally from the start of his swing. And then at landing, you're going to see a lot more of that 2-7, much more clear. So you can see him really turn, show those numbers. Again, protraction of the front scapula and retraction of the back scapula, although he doesn't retract as much that back scapula as Aaron Judge does. So let's look at a couple medium-sized hitters. Okay, so you can see Mike Trout over here on the left, and you got Cody Bellinger over here on the right for a lefty example. You can see Mike Trout from the start of his swing. Swing, you can make out the two and you're going to be able to make out the other number as he gets to his landing position you can see here 27 in clear view all the way to landing there again we see for those anatomy folks those anatomy nerds out there you see the protraction of the front scap you see the retraction of the back scap now here we go with cody bellinger you're going to see the same thing you can barely make out the five here and then as he goes into or gets to landing and he, you can see the 35 as he gets down to landing there now just as a note for lefties the camera out in center field is slightly off center towards left so it's a little bit more biased towards righties showing righties showing their numbers more than lefties so if, if you're seeing a lefties numbers they're really showing their numbers there so let's take a look at a couple small hitters all right as you can see you got jose altuve over here on the left is a pretty good hitter this year and 2017 you got andrew mccutcheon over here on the right so these are two small hitters with altuve around five six 160 pounds or so probably soaking wet and you got andrew mccutcheon who's about 5'10", 190 pounds. So let's look at Altuve first. This is in 2016, which I noticed in the playoffs and World Series in 2017 that he was actually showing his numbers more. But you can see here, same thing. You can barely kind of make out that two from the beginning. And then as he goes into his stride, loads that springy fashion at landing, you can see the 2'7 there as well. Over here, Andrew McCutcheon on the right. Same idea, and this ball he hits oppo, about 400 something feet. And without showing numbers, it's very difficult to go oppo this small and being able to make that work. So as you're gonna see, same thing, you can barely make out his first number two there, and then you see him at landing. Just about right here, you can make out the other digit here. Maybe not as clear as some of the other hitters, but you're seeing the same protraction of the front shoulder, retraction of the back shoulder. So let's look at two mystery hitters. So most of you know this guy over here on the left, Mr. Ted Williams, the splendid splinter. And for those fast, fast pitch softball coaches out there that say high level hitters cannot do this at the soft, fast, pitch, fast pitch softball level, here's Sierra Romero on the right. So you can see with Ted Williams, this isn't the best view. If you can find a pitcher's view, go out and check it out yourself. But what you're gonna see is the same thing we're seeing here. You can see protraction of the front shoulder of the front uh, retraction or protraction of the front scapula and you see retraction of the back scapula and you see this turning in and showing numbers to the pitcher over here Sierra Romero you're gonna see her number three here to start off and you see this big beautiful braid that's gonna be in the way of digit number two but you're gonna see at landing she's gonna be showing it bright as day if that braid wasn't in the way at landing there so you can see she is definitely showing her numbers at a pretty high level over there at the University of Michigan now let's take a look at how the experiment turned out now here is the data that we collected from the experiment as you can see here on the ZEP screenshot app you can see not showing numbers on the left and showing numbers on the right you can see a three mile per hour increase in an average bat speed and impact with showing the numbers you can see one mile per hour decrease uh, hand speed max decrease of one mile per hour showing numbers time to impact increase 0 0.014 showing numbers bat vertical angle at impact decrease of four degrees showing numbers and attack angle increased of six degrees showing numbers now a couple things the drop from previous showing number swing experiments was surprising in this experiment in addition to a small drop of one mile per hour in hand speed max there was also a slight increase in time to impact now the interesting numbers were the ones that indicate launch angles both vertical angle at impact and attack angle and we didn't ex experience such a dramatic uptick in those in the last experiments a couple notes the past Two experiments were done in a cage off a tee, like I mentioned before, so I could see ball flight and maybe that had an effect on the swing metrics. 
Some hitting coaches speak highly of time to impact and want to reduce at all costs, but I disagree. There's a healthy range for that. You don't want to be too short with it and you don't want to be too long. I'm not going to get into that here, but maybe in another post. To explain the dramatic increase of the barrel's upward trajectory and showing numbers, I may have been getting more of a downward shoulder angle at landing. Now with that, make sure that you're swinging smarter by moving better and before I let you go. The Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly, and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.